Good morning. Today we will learn about the equations of motion. In the last video we studied about what do you mean by rest and what do you mean by motion. Rest. I say this chalk piece is at rest. It is at rest because it does not change its position with respect to the surrounding. When I move this chalk piece, let us say the chalk piece is here and I move it here, that means it is changing its position. Now, we also learnt about velocity, we learnt about speed, we learnt about uh, acceleration and retardation. Now, let us take very carefully about it. What is acceleration? Let us look at a body, a ball is lying on a floor. Initially, the velocity of the body is u. u is called initial velocity. And the body is moving. We are not concerned about the force acting on the body. Irrespective of the force, we say the body is moving from this point to this point. Fine. Now, when it reaches this point, the velocity is uh, v and we call it this as final velocity. Now, the time taken for this motion is t and the distance traveled by the body is usually used as s. s stands for in Greek spatium, space. So, s is the symbol which we are going to use. And a is the acceleration. The acceleration is uniform. Fine. So, we say the acceleration is equal to change in velocity delta v divided by time taken. Now, what is the change in velocity? That is final velocity minus initial velocity upon time. Now, I have an equation. Let me bring t here. So, a t is equal to v minus u. Let me bring minus u to this sign. I have plus u. u plus a t is equal to v. Or generally we say v is equal to u plus a t. And this is the first equation of motion. I hope you understand. Now acceleration is change in velocity upon time. I just substituted and I got the first equation of motion v is equal to u plus a t. Let me move on to the second equation of motion. Now, this talks about the distance. Fine. Now, we have a term average velocity. What is average velocity? It is the total velocity, the distance traveled by the body divided by time taken. The body may travel in different times, in different distances. So, calculate the total distance travel and divide by the total time taken and that is called average velocity. So, average velocity is nothing but total distance divided by time taken. Now, I want the display distance s is equal to v average multiplied by time taken. I have taken this t over there. Now, I write again s is equal to what is v average? You have three subjects let us say in science physics, chemistry and biology. I ask you what is the average? What do you do? Add physics mark, chemistry mark, biology mark and divide by 3. So how many quantities are there? Here there are two quantities are there u and v. So we will write it as u plus v divided by 2 because there are two quantities initial and final velocity. Remember this formula can be used only for constant acceleration. You can't use it in other places. Multiply by t, the time taken from this equation. Fine. Now that is u plus. What is v according to first equation of motion? v is equal to u plus a t whole divided by 2 multiplied by t. Fine. That is u plus u, 2u. 2u plus a t upon to multiply by t. Fine. Let me separate the factors. 2u upon 2 that is u plus at at divided by 2. 
of t fine so what is all these things this is the displacement displacement the distance travel r s is equal to u into t u t plus 1 by 2 half a t square and this is the second equation of motion second equation of motion yeah be clear about it now we start with the same formula v averages displacement or distance upon time total distance traveled upon total time taken and that i have substituted or average velocity u plus v upon 2 and then i have moved ahead with the value now i move to the last equation of motion that is the third equation of motion third equation of motion does not use time so let me do from the same equation s is equal to v average multiplied by t what is v average as usual for constant acceleration initial velocity plus final velocity upon 2 fine and what is this t we know acceleration is equal to v minus u upon t that is the definition so take this t up and a down t is equal to v minus u divided by a fine so let me substitute v minus u divided by a let me just make a small change u plus v i'm going to write it as v plus u divided by 2 and v minus u divided by a so what is this a plus b into a minus b that is a square minus b square that is v square minus u square divided by 2 into a what is this whole thing this is a displacement 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 fine so bring this 2a up here 2as is equal to v square minus u square or keep v square up here right and bring minus u square here u square plus 2a yes and this is the third equation of motion so let me just to wind it up by telling you the three equations of motion which is connecting initial velocity final velocity acceleration time taken displacement that is nothing but v is equal to u plus a t s is equal to u t plus half a t square and v square minus u square is equal to 2 a s or v square is equal to u square plus 2 a s thank you so much